Jim Holman. I'm the editor of the San Diego Reader newspaper. And I'm sitting here with Joe Klein, who was a photographer for the Reader for how many years? 30 years? 27. 27 years. And he shot a lot of everything. As In my uh, memory, it was mostly our news stories. A lot, of, a lot of what we call city lights in the old days. And I think he also shot the food column, the, the tin fork column. Is that right? Tin fork and also uh, Naomi Wise. Uh, okay. Interview. Yeah, Naomi Wise was, uh, she was our second food reviewer after Eleanor Widmer. Uh, so Eleanor Widmer had a cartoon with her and you did the name Naomi Wise shots. So tell us a little bit, Joe, about how, well, your background. I mean, were you from San Diego? Did you grow up here? Did you learn? And where'd you get uh, turned on to photography? Well, basically, I uh, lived in San Diego all my life, and I uh, started freelancing for small papers and also uh, the the bigger daily in town. And uh, then uh, I approached the reader, and uh, the editor there wasn't. Um, he, he wanted to keep uh, giving his current photographers enough work, so they made it worthwhile for them. Yeah. And then uh, in the early 80s, I approached uh, the editor there and uh, showed him some of my photos, and he liked them, but he said he's not ready to have a new photographer. Is that Ernie? Is no, that, that was uh, Jim? Uh, Jim. Oh, Jim Mullen, okay. And so anyway, yeah. I approached him about a year later, and they were giving me work regularly from that time on, which is, I think, in 81 is when I shot my first photo for the... Uh, the San Diego Reader. Yeah, you know that makes sense because uh, we uh, the start Reader started in seventy two, and the eighties and nineties were the big growth years. So we had more stories and room for more pictures. Thanks be to God. Um, so what were you what were you, what'd you shoot first? Was it uh, the City Lights column or was it? It, it was City Lights, yes. Um, and I think my first photo was a, a photo of a disc jockey named Dave Dawson. Okay. Uh, he was more a talk radio host. And um, then I remember uh, an old building called the Bohemian Bakery, uh, 13th and Market. Oh, yeah. Um, so let me do this. I'm, I don't know that these, these uh, photos are from City Lights, but I have a, a, a file of your black and whites here. So let's go through those a little bit, and maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit about them and how you shot them and what the background was. Uh, I was amazed by this picture. Is this a this is Fourth and Laurel? This is um, it was typically called the uh, Fourth Avenue Financial Center, I believe, and basically it was a time exposure of uh, maybe ten seconds where I uh, zoomed the lens during the exposure. Because it looks like all, all these lights are coming out of the building. I don't I don't quite. I, mean, I think it might have been decorated for Christmas. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, let me go back and see. Uh, so this is called a Mariner's Point, which is worked by Mission Base is 96. You know what this was? Yes, it was a photo for a city light that Matt was doing on Matt some Potter. of the yeah. venue, the party venues. Oh. It was, it was I used a uh, lens called a uh, mirror lens. It's similar to a build of a telescope where... Um, any specular highlights will turn into a donut shape in, in the image. Huh. Wow. Beautiful. Do you need to do any testing of the sound? or do... No. I'm sure the sound's going to work. This is a, a man that was living in a single room occupancy hotel in downtown. I believe it's called the Maryland Hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this shot. I, I, I When I was going through the pictures here to get ready, I just I kept looking at this and trying to kind of figure it out. Is that, is that the goal? Uh, well, I guess, but I like the rules on the grass. Uh, oh, yeah. Keep off the grass. Go fishing. Yep. And I don't even remember what that was for. I assume a city light. That was at um, the Naval Ocean Systems Center. It's a Navy facility, and I believe those are radar uh, towers. Beautiful. And uh, now it's called Spa War. Uh, That's a long it, point, Loma. Is it, is it over on Point Loma itself? Yes. 
This is a photograph of the El Cortez Hotel using a mirrored building to reflect the image of the hotel. So the, the, the mirror is across the street from the hotel or something? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's one of those head scratchers, you know, for, at least from a viewer's point of view. It's, it's great that but it's great that way. Ah, this is a beautiful one. I love this one. That's uh, basically a silhouette of some children playing at the fountain in Balboa Park near the Space Center. Oh yeah, that's still there, sure. I couldn't figure this one out. This is a man named Christopher Lee. He was a, a sculptor that used a lot of glass. And the tool in his hand is a glass cutting instrument. So he uh, cuts the glass and then he stacks it and puts a metal rod through it to keep it together. Huh. I believe he was uh, uh, worked with uh, SDSU as an instructor, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, another silhouette that um, some people say silhouettes are too easy, but at any rate, that was uh, the uh, there was a skating group called Paradise Paradise. Um, skating rink and it was going to be their last day so I shot the last day mm. and the owner of the skating rink and uh where, where was it what part of town uh where? live it's north park okay uh well you know that that black and white work and you know I maybe that reflects on age but I, I just think color photos you know they're, they're beautiful they're sexy because of the warm colors and everything but the black and white I think is sort of a, a pure uh a pure art.